Did you know? Everyday sparrows are silently decreasing in numbers. The reason behind this, you and your unwanted trash, changes in agricultural patterns, changes in modern building systems, changes in technologies and high usage and speed of mobile towers. Actually, is that true? But before I tell you what is exactly happening behind the sparrows, make sure to like this video and share it to spread the world. These little birds, our sparrows, were everywhere. Their cheerful chirps greeted us each morning, a symbol of resilience and simplicity. They were the diamonds in our urban jungles. They have adapted to live in a variety of environments. In a heart of the city, the vastness of farmland, or the serenity of the forest. Sparrows were a common sight in cityscapes, flitting through parks and perching on window ledges. People would often leave crumbs for these charming birds, enjoying their cheerful presence amidst the urban hustle. Sparrows nested on the rooftops. Their chirping provided a natural soundtrack to the concrete surroundings, bridging the gap between nature and the city. In farmlands, sparrows have long been companions to farmers, flitting around fields and barns. They feed on insects and scattered grain, playing a role in natural pest control and aiding crop health. Sparrows often nest in hedgerows and farm structures and paddy tops, adding vitality to the rural landscape. Their presence has woven a lively connection between agriculture and nature, enriching the farming experience. They really help to the farmers. In spring and summer, the birds use the nest for raising young. Up to four broods a season will be raised. Sparrows are generally short-lived, with an average lifespan of two to three years. Sparrow natural diet includes dry foods such as buds and seeds, and live foods such as spiders, snails, aphids, caterpillars, and other small invertebrates. Young birds tend to take live food better than dry food, so the farmlands gave these sparrows what they wanted with the help of the farmers. Even the sparrow's life is too short. They manage their population increases with the help of farmlands. Farmland sparrows spreaded their breeding population more than urban sparrows. Sparrows survive in today's cities with a 20% chance. Because they are not the right place to nest on the roof of today's building. And the sparrows can be seen sitting on the walking street, looking for food in all the parks. If they survive, with limited daily food and nesting opportunities, they have trouble reproducing and raising their young. A large number of cell phone towers in cities creates problems against sparrow breeding. But how cell phone towers against? Cell phone towers emit electromagnetic radiation that disrupts sparrow's navigation and communication. This exposure can lead to disorientation, reduced reproductive rates, and a decline in sparrow populations. So when it comes to raising their baby birds, there is a feeding problem. And since they actually have less food for their own survival, then how can they raise their baby birds? In farmlands, after the market started to sell the chemical products for kill the insects, which is spiders, snails, aphids, caterpillars, and other small invertebrates for grow more rices, farmers did not think about their real sparrows of insecticides. They didn't realize the impact of their actions. The chemicals we used, the technology we embraced, they created an environment hostile to sparrows. Their numbers dwindled before we even noticed their absence. The total number of sparrows in 1970 was 1.8 billion. During the technology's infancy, we lost 1.07 billion sparrows between 1970 and 2010. The total number of sparrows in 2010 was 730 million. Here you can see how much we lost in the large number of differences. By 2023, the total number has been reduced to 500 million. Our calculations are that today we survive on advanced technology, so with less food, sparrows are less likely to survive as birds. 
So by 2040, we will lose all sparrows from our planet. This is because of you and your family. Because we are all in our race for a modern world, we altered their fate. We sprayed our fields with insecticides, unknowingly poisoning their food. We built towers that emit radiation, disrupting their delicate senses. We remodeled our cities, erasing the nooks and crannies they called home. We pursued a vision of progress and convenience, but in doing so, we sacrificed the simple joys that sparrows brought. Sparrows with their lively songs and humble presence are fading away. And with them, we lose a piece of ourselves, a piece of our world that once connected us to nature and simplicity. We can still act by creating spaces for them, but we can't rescue them because time it's gone. Soon, they will be called the extinct bird. So in searching for gold, we lost something far more precious. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.